Laurent Blanc made several changes to his PSG team to play Lorient on Saturday with the Champions League in mind. That decision paid off handsomely as youngster Irvan Ongonda set them on their way to an away win on his first start for the club in two years. Shortly afterwards, Blaise Matuidi turned in a second from Zlatan Ibrahimovic's cross. And although Benjamin Mukanjo headed in his 10th league goal of the season, PSG stayed unbeaten with a 2-1 victory. Free scoring knee sent out a statement of intent with an authoritative 3 0 win over fellow Champions League hopefuls Lyon on Friday night. Valère Germain coolly chipped in a first half opener. Before Mapu Yanga and Biwa sliced into his own net shortly after half time. Vincent Cosiello added further gloss to the scoreline as Nice moved up to fourth in the table and within just a point of their second placed opponents. Con stayed third by battling to their first draw of the campaign against Angers, despite having Alaeddin Yahia sent off in the first half. Both sides struck the woodwork, but a goal wasn't forthcoming as it finished 0-0. Monaco closed in on the European places as Mario Pasalic's header gave them a narrow win over Nantes. 1-0 was the final score as Leonardo Jardim's men claimed a third win in four games. Saint-Étienne dropped down to 7th place after being made to pay for early missed chances by Michel's ever-improving Marseille. Georges Kevan Unkadu scuffed a shot straight to Michy Batshuayi for the Belgian to open the scoring with his ninth goal of the campaign. Unkadu scored himself with a deflected effort early in the second half as OM ran out 2-0 winners. Rennes and Bordeaux played out an eventful two-all draw on Sunday evening. Teenager Usman Dembele tapped in across from the returning Paul Georges and Tep to give host Rennes the lead. But Enzo Crivelli stabbed into level after Wabi Kasri's shot was saved. Camille Grosicki came off the bench to restore Wren's advantage with his fourth goal as a substitute this season. And what a goal it was. Diego Contonto popped up to make it 2-2 before Giovanni Gisio had a 96th minute penalty saved by Cedric Carrasso. Gangon left to lose without a win since the first day of the season with a 2-0 home victory on Saturday. Sloan Privat headed the host in front after Jimmy Briand had had a penalty saved and Yanis Saliba's free kick deceived Ali Ahamada to pull Gangon five points clear of the bottom three. Montpellier came from behind to consign Rance to a sixth league defeat in a row. Anthony Weber headed in a Diego free kick to give the away team an early lead. But Mustafa Yatabare nodded home from close range to quickly hit back for Montpellier. Suleiman Kamara came off the bench to score his first league on goal in 34 matches and complete the turnaround. 
and Brian Dabo headed in a late corner to wrap up a 3-1 victory. Gazalek Ejatsio saw off Bastia in the Corsican derby, but they had to come from behind after Brandao's header gave Gislam Pranson's men a fifth minute lead. Jacques Sua levelled with a contemptuous penalty just 13 minutes later. Khalid Boutaib cut a second half volley into the corner to give Gazalek a 2 1 win. Their fourth victory in a row as they moved out of the drop zone at their opponent's expense. The league's two lowest scorers, Troyes and Lille, played out a one all draw. After Hervé Renard's departure, Patrick Collot gave Yassine Benzia a rare start and the striker Julie gave Lille an early lead. Corentin Jean grabbed a point for bottom club Troyes. But they do remain without a win. Gazalek Ajaccio suddenly can't stop winning with their latest great day out coming in the derby at Bastia. Marseille are showing significant signs of improvement and are suddenly just seven points off the top three. But PSG continue to look unstoppable as they charge towards a fourth consecutive league on title. Eight league wins in a row has given them a 13-point cushion over Lyon and Conn. At the wrong end of the table, Troyes and Toulouse have gone 25 games between them without a victory and both look in grave danger. Lille are just one bad result from slipping into the bottom three themselves. French football returns on Friday as Lyon look to get back to winning ways against Inform Montpellier. Expect a goal fest as Troyes face the daunting trip to the Parc des Princes and OM round off the action against Monaco at the Velodrome.